Dave Anderson here, Helicools Helipad. Hey, if you've watched the videos, the last three anyway, I have completely redone the battery compartment. Now it's fairly chilly out right now, and I'm just gonna check out to see if everything is going well with Malachi. Let's start it up. Say enough how I like that. No stutter starting anymore. <laughs> well, this is a cold start, but with the engine heater on. Well, it's another cold morning, but you know what? I'll take it because it's a lot better than the rain. Uh, so there's a couple projects that I need to really get done. And <laughs> I have just been dreading this because, man, it's in just a tight quarter. And I really just don't like it, but, but it needs to be done. It has to be done. I've been putting it off for too long. And here's what I mean. I need to get in to that guy right there, clean up the connectors and put new silicone on it, as well as, I don't even know if I can get in there and see it very well. Let's see if I can get in this angle. All right, right there. That's a starter, and I also need to clean that up. Two parts that are very difficult to get to. For heaven's sakes, the first thing I gotta do, <laughs> don't do this project without doing this first. Need to disconnect these batteries. Typically, that involves this rear battery back here. And that connector, that will, that will uh, disengage the positive to the starter. On my setup, the 12 volt, which is right here, I'm gonna have to also remove that as well. And that will isolate the batteries from the system. When you're ever in doubt, break out a multimeter and put it on the DC setting, and then just check. Easy peasy. And then double check to make sure everything is dead. Well, the first step is to rip away all of this uh, silicone caulking that they put on there so I can get to the get to the bolts so I can unbolt the doggone thing. I thought that I should probably check the starter relay because you know even though it has been a lot better and it hasn't been stutter starting as much. There's one time where the other day where it stutter started and I'm like it's fully charged. What's going on here? So let's take a look at that starter relay. Okay, so starter relay. That one right there. Fourth one in from that side. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Here it is. Okay, well, 
that could be a problem right there. That's it. I think I'm gonna have to replace that. Well guys, this is what I'm after. This is a solenoid contactor. And if this, if it doesn't see that this has good power to it, it will, I believe, stutter start the doggone engine. It just won't allow it to just hit it and, and go. I don't really think it was the batteries, although yeah, lower battery power um, is not going to really put a good kick to this. But this is the guy that doesn't allow that starter to go when it when it doesn't see the correct power that it needs. So all I did was clean up this old contactor. And I'm just going to swap the wires onto this one and bolt it into place. It's a good idea to put at least... Um, new hardware on if you have it especially these little tiny lock washers uh, because well let's just give you an idea okay you see that nastiness all right that's what was on there we don't want to put lock washers like that back on all right there it is all put back together i just need to get some silicone and goop this whole area up to seal it up well and uh, weather tight it i guess that's just the procedure that they do Also want to take a look at it's either this this um, or that component and I believe that this sends oil pressure information to the truck and uh, I I'm not getting any oil information right now Jacob so I grabbed one of these out of our my parts bin and i'm going to change this out and see if this is the culprit i don't know which one it is but i suspect it's one of those i know it takes a three quarter inch wrench all right so this is the old one new one uh just got it installed really it's not a big deal there is two wires in here and if you can jumper across the two wires on the truck side not this side but the truck side and if you can watch get somebody to get into your cab and watch the gauge it should actually peg out all the way but i just don't have anybody to look at the gauge so i have to pull it apart and change it out it's okay if this was a bad part i'm okay to do that now here's something else that's a starter this nut was not on there real tight. I mean, it was snuggish, but not on there tight. I'm going to finish cleaning all that up with a wire wheel, put it all back together. Man alive, I really had a difficult time getting that uh, positive lead off of the uh, battery solenoid. I had to remove, uh, this is the engine fill line. It goes all the way up to here. Speaking of difficult, <laughs> you got to really get your your drill in there to, to wire, wire wheel it. It's it is not easy, but uh, cleaning it up, I will. All right, it's all gooped back up. You can see it just on the other side of that line. All right, time to put this pipe back on. Now, hopefully, these repairs today not only fix that stutter starting issue, but also fixes my oil pressure gauge up in the dash. Keep your fingers crossed. We shall see. All right, it's time to check it out. This will be a cold start. It hasn't been started yet today. I have not had the block heater on. 
Let's see if it stutter starts even a little bit. Well, it does make some semblance of logic that the one unit that is uh, reading oil pressure just goes to the dummy light since it's just one wire and the other is actually going to the, the gauge because it has to read voltage. So it would need two wires to do that. So I think I changed out the right one. Hey, I've got engine oil pressure now, so I'm really liking that. Either way, I'll let you guys know if anything changes, but don't have any stutter starting so far, and I hope that it keeps that way. Well, hey guys, if you really liked the video, please smash on that like button and please subscribe. You know, I was uh, checking out the analytics of my channel and it shows that like over 90% of watch time is from non-subscribers. I really appreciate YouTube putting it out in front of folks like you if you're not a subscriber. And I thank you so very much for clicking on this. Won't you consider subscribing? If only 50% of you subscribed, this channel would, would have over 10,000 subscribers, which would be completely awesome. The sun is setting on another video and I'm going to call it a day. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Man, I tell you what, my truck is purring like a cat. <sighs> a cat on top of a cat.